Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm back with a, I guess, a long overdue update on the Red Sea Reefer 450. Um, there's been a few changes on the reef. Uh, I finally gave up on the Montiporas, and as you can see, even the just the, the bleached out dead Montipora is gone. In total, I filled up about a half a bucket worth of uh, dead coral. I just ended up pulling out everything that was dead, and um, I ended up uh, also ordering a new motor block for the Max Spec Gyre. Um, it stopped working after almost two years. Um, I tried cleaning the impeller. I tried ordering um, a new impeller. It didn't work. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try ordering a motor block. If it doesn't work, then I'll just order two more tonses since those things are, are freaking beast. They, uh, they just keep on going. So uh, back to the reef. Um, what ended up happening is um, some of the frog spawn ended up like kind of closing, um, almost dying. So what I did is I fragged it and I put it on the right side, as you can see over here. Um, so I put it over there just, to, I guess, uh, to see if I could save it. And uh, if it died, you know, just, I guess, toss it out like the other coral that died. And um, so I just kind of fragged it to see if, uh, if it'll make it. And it's doing pretty good. Um, also the torch. The torch uh, where you see right there some of the bottom heads were kind of closing up so what I did is I took them off and actually I cut them and I put them back there and they seem to have opened up so they're doing pretty good I'll eventually put them on a the plug um, all the fish are just doing awesome I mean uh, I, I've been uh, I've been wanting to get some wrasses some other fish in there and also um, I will eventually put another sand bed I'll siphon out all the rest of the debris and um, old sand bed that whatever's left over the old sand bed and I do plan on going with a Hawaiian black uh, to stay with the whole black theme I had it before and it looked nice however because I had some Indo-Pacific sand in there the fish and the cleanup crew ended up stirring it up so then it was you know black and white and I didn't like the way it looked plus on top of that after the move um, the guy that moved the tank was telling me that the sand bed was pretty much dead and it stunk up so I had him toss it um, believe it or not, since, uh, I mean, I did end up going back to, um, I was uh, doing the Red Sea Coral Pro for a while, and um, I didn't see much of a difference, so, you know, to save money, I went back to good old reliable um, Coral Life, and I don't know if going back to the Coral Life or the fact that I got that Max Spec Gyre running again, uh, which I have it running for about eight hours only, at nighttime it shuts off as well as the tons is, and uh, so the Coral kind of um, uh, I guess settle settle out a bit and um, I don't know if a, a combination of the change of salt the, the water movement change has done um, anything but all the coral seems to be doing fine my hammer coral which is right there um, there is a, a small head to the bottom left that was closing up and it had broken apart during the move and let me see if I could find it here uh, so what I did is I just separated those couple of heads and for now I just have them growing there I mean um, that's what made it kind of look massive when I first got that uh, hammer coral it ended up uh, it just ended up uh, just growing like crazy it was a, it was a couple of heads and then it just grew pretty massive so so far all the corals doing uh, pretty good um, I did buy some camel some camel shrimp and they're always hidden. They don't come out when the lights are on. What, um, uh, they've been doing their job though because I have, knock on wood, yet to see some, some Aptasia return to the tank. Um, a couple other changes have come to the sump area. Now, for whatever reason, um, I end up swapping skimmers every now and then. I, I guess it's kind of my thing. I, I love protein skimmers. It's one of my favorite things in the tank is I always document them uh, uh, and, and rate them. But this time I chose to go with some uh, some chato. So what you see right there is some chato, and in the bottom I just bought a little a little uh, lamp fixture from Home Depot for ten bucks, and I bought a grow lamp, and I forget what type of uh, uh, other light I bought to, to swap them out if, if one wasn't working. However, the the chato is do, doing pretty fine. Uh, when I first put it in there, on the outer portion, some some uh, some of it kind of browned out and died. It got caught in the filter and then you know it just gets removed but uh so far so good um 
I guess it's been doing its job because if it's not feeding off of phosphates, it'll die, brown out, or bleach out. And as well, the light's been doing its job in, I guess, keeping it alive. So that's another uh, thing that I've been doing uh, to try to lower my phosphates along with um, uh, the GFO. I do plan on getting rid of the GFO. Um, I'll probably end up just running carbon and, and um, just go, I guess, kind of the natural way with the Kato. Maybe if I remove the GFO, the Kato will just freaking grow like crazy. And um, so that's, that's been it right now. The only reason I, I swapped out the skimmer, the other one was working perfectly fine. Um, the Simplicity 320 works perfectly fine. I've only had it lock up on me once, and that's just due to the way the ceramic impellers work on those skimmers as well as the J-Bow, j, -Bow, j that I have running on the, on, on the Life Reef 24 inch right now and uh, as a return due to the ceramic impellers the way they work they'll end up seizing up so every I, just to keep it safe every about three months I'll just pull out the impellers and um, I'll leave them soaking in some uh, white vinegar and I'll uh, just uh, scrub the what do you call it the the actual uh, pumps themselves, I bought a little bottle brush and I use that to clean out the pumps. It comes with a little, a little attachment at the end for like little smaller crevices. So I use that to clean the smaller parts uh, where the ceramic shaft sits. And uh, everything's been doing pretty fine. Um, I'm still dosing about one mil every hour of alkalinity and calcium uh, on the BRS2 part. And so far, I'm staying within, within the 400 to 450 range on calcium. My alkalinity is between, um, I want to say between 8.5 to 9 dKH, which is fine by me. Uh, compared to before running the Red Sea Coral Pro, it was closer to the 10 11 range. After water changes in coral consumption and the dosing, it ended up staying uh, down toward the 10 11 range. But I'm fine with the 8 to 9. As you guys know, uh, I mean, depending on where you look, look up information a DKH of uh, 7 to 12 I guess is all right I'm not looking for accelerated coral growth I'm just looking to I guess be able to keep what I have since I don't sell my frags so I'm just trying to get, make my tank look nice um, what I do plan on doing since um, uh, some of my coral died is eventually once once I get all the, the sand bed back in and, and all that I'll end up uh, trying to Montiporas again and uh, trying to do some some dunking coral again because the one I had died and um, I've been thinking about pulling out this rock and uh, you know starting new with some Pukani uh, but BRS just can't seem to have it in stock so I kind of uh, gave up on that I'll, I'll just work with what I got for now and uh, that's about it for the update I mean everything is still pretty much the same equipment there hasn't been any new additions of the equipment just uh, except for that light and the chato, but you know, just like me, for whatever reason, I get tired of seeing you know the same protein scammer. I'll swap it out with another one. So um, that's why you see that uh, Life Reef 24 inch, which, by the way, like everybody on any forum, you hear about. It's it's a beast of a skimmer. It's been around forever, and uh, it will be around after this whole needle wheel DC pump craze uh, goes out. So that's it for now. Go ahead and feel free to uh, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys leave comments, I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. I know some people are new to reefing and I like helping people out the same way I've been helped um, both on forums and uh, through watching other uh, YouTubers videos on how to maintain a reef. So that's it. You guys uh, take it easy and enjoy the rest of your weekend.